What's going on, guys? King Raven here coming at you with another video today. So today we've got another awesome knife review overview. Thanks to the Lefty Passeron Group. Big shout out to the Lefty Passeron Group for letting me check out this knife. But before we get into today's video, y'all give me a like. Leave a comment. At the end of the video, there'll be a little subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell and check out the other video you, I have linked. It helps my channel when you do that. I greatly appreciate it. And y'all remember, follow me over on Instagram at Shield Arms. In the description of this video and all my videos, I have links to the knives and also links to uh, places where you get discount codes and different stuff like that. They are affiliate links. So if you would like to support my channel, the links are down in the description of this video and i greatly appreciate it now let's flip this camera around and get into today's knife review knife overview so guys we are going to be taking a look at a cancept knife today uh cancept i've reviewed several different models on my channel they've always brought good build quality good materials and good value uh, where a lot of uh, companies are either going, you know, really towards the budget end or really towards the premium end. Cancept has been more of like, we're going to find our niche right there in the middle, offering good steels. They might be not the newest, hottest steels, but they are still premium steels and still premium material, but at a better, a better value. So what do we got going on today? We have the Concept Shard. Okay, so we see the designer, Kim Ning, and it is in satin CPM S35VN, Tiger Stripe, Flame Titanium, and it's 3.48 inch blade. So let's check out the Shard. Really nice looking knife. I love this flame anno. Really cool. The light catches it in different ways. So you've got the zigzag back and forth of the different color. And then you've got the more consistent handle color in between it. Flipper only because, well, at least for me, there's no way I can get in to access that. I think it's meant to be flipper only. That's just meant to be really aesthetic. But, so, for me, I can't, if you can, uh, that's awesome, you gotta tell me how you do it, but, uh, I cannot get in there to use the actual hole, so, it is a pretty deep carry pocket clip, you got about that much carrying out of your pocket, but it is not reversible, so, lefties, uh, this is not an, one where you're gonna be able to flip the clip on it, so, let's check out this blade nice snappy it's not the strongest detent but it's not weak and this is like what i was talking about they're using s35vn okay s35vn is a great steel it has good edge retention good toughness it's got uh good corrosion resistance it's just good okay and it used to be a lot more popular now it's being outshone by some of the newer steels and stuff like that or just some of the uh uh i guess more perceived to be more premium steels but s35vn is great and they can bring it to us at a less price so you're going to get titanium and s35vn at a better value with a beautiful belt satin Yes, very nice blade, good size, my medium size hands, it fits good, I got still plenty room, if so if you've got XL size hands, you're going to be fine with this knife, there's not really a choke up spot, but I'm still uh, close enough to the blade that it's fine, and the power cuts, no problem, but where this one more shines with that tip how it drops down is using that tip to pierce and then cut 
or you've got this front belly you can use that belly for push cuts or the draw cuts man so in this position great for your push but I used it actually more in this position like this and going through because I am a, y'all know I'm a double amputee and everything like that. So I'm not out hard using my knives. I'm opening packages. I'm opening boxes. I'm cutting cardboard, cutting uh, strings. I'm doing stuff around the house uh, that you would normally use a knife for. That's what I use my EDC knives for, and this has that sailed in it. It is great, nice, functional blade. Love this blade shape. Let's do some size comparisons so you can sort of see exactly what I'm talking about as far as size on this knife. So, this is the Monterey Bay Knives Pincer. Outstanding knife. Very similar in size. Uh, the Tuya Wrath V2. Okay. Let's bring out the Ferrum Forge Archbishop 3.0. And let's go one more. This is the Off Grid Knives Black. Mamba. All right. So that is our comparisons of different knives against the concept shard. Great in hand, great action, very smooth and controlled. Snappy out there with the uh, flipper tab. The jimping is okay. It's pretty smooth so it's not going to be the grippiest so and everything you you can slip off of it i would like to see a little bit better jimping on that flipper tab if you're going to have it flipper only and if you had just a tad bit stronger of a detent if this was mine i could take it apart and i could push on that lock bar a little and uh possibly get it just a little bit stronger right now it's fine but i wouldn't mind seeing it a little bit stronger but a little bit better jimping man this thing is still outstanding very good knife so if you like the looks of the shard if you like this versatile blade shape and the way the titanium especially with this tiger stripe tano man I highly recommend it and everything. It's another great knife from Concept. Let's flip this camera around and wrap up today's video of the Concept Shard. Okay, guys. So, what do you think about the Concept Shard? Good size knife. Full size knife, but not, you know, like a huge knife. Uh great blade shape very useful for everything you're going to do uh it's going to handle just about every edc task that you can think of really good in hand and i love the this drop down swedge with the point that's lower than the actual pivot and the little bit of belly man whether so whether you want to use the tip whether you want to use the belly you've got the option to do both with this kind of blade shape and uh, that works really good for EDC on the tasks that I do on a daily basis. Y'all let me know what you think about the concept shard. Do you have one? Is there another model of concept that you really like? Y'all let me know. Give me a like. Leave that comment. Hit the subscribe button. Smash that notification bell and check out this video. I think you might like it. Follow me on Instagram at Shield Arms. Y'all be safe out there. I'm King Raven, and I'll catch you in the next video.